Hey guys, it's Lisa from Turning Pages and I'm here today to show you what I'm reading in the month of March. So it's my March TBR list. Let me warn you that there are quite a few books on this list and let me also inform you that I probably will not be able to read all these books. Um, I usually roll over the books that I didn't read from the previous month add books that I need to be that need to be reviewed this month as well as a couple books that I just want to read and um, we'll try to squish in somewhere throughout the month. So there are quite a few books and no I will not be reading them all this month but I have the high hope that maybe I will get to most of them. The order that I'm showing you these books doesn't really matter, it's just completely random. I mean, I do have a few books that I know I have to be reading at the beginning of the month simply because they need to be reviewed very very soon. So those are, but they're all just mixed together, so it doesn't matter the list or the order that I'm showing you, but yeah. So the first couple books that are on my list for this month are actually on my Kindle. I got all, all three of them, or all four of them, through NetGalley, so those will probably be some that I'll be reading towards the beginning of the month, or more towards a certain date, because that's when they need to be reviewed. So the first one from NetGalley is Waiting on the Sidelines by Ginger Scott cover looks like that. Waiting on the Sidelines is about a girl, her name is Nolan, and she kind of doesn't really match or fit into the group of girls at her school. She's completely different. She's more of a tomboy than anything else. She enjoys wearing her brother's hand-me-downs. She enjoys doing more boyish um, things than girl things. So um, she is a little bit of an outcast at her school. She doesn't have too many friends and she realizes that high school is much more of a struggle than she expected it to be. But then a, um, a new guy moves in or switches schools and she becomes good friends with him and he kind of maybe changes her perspective on things and maybe makes some of those struggles worthwhile. So excited for that one. Definitely going to be a more little chiclet romantic-y read. The next one I'm reading from NetGalley is Big Fat Disaster by Beth Fellbaum. And the cover looks like that. Big Fat Disaster is about a girl named Kobe. She's overweight and has never felt like she fit in. Not even with her family because her mom and her sister are doing pageants and love the attention they get from people. While Kobe is much more quiet and to herself and would rather um, be kind of in the background than right the center of the attention. So Kobe kind of goes through her life feeling very self-conscious, especially when one day a video is leaked of her half-naked by her very own cousin. Not only is she struggling with that, but also her dad is cheating on her mom with a much, much younger girl, and Kobe, her sister, and her mom are basically left with nothing when their dad um, decides to pack up and go stay with this much younger woman. So Kobe is going through quite a bit and I'm definitely excited to see how she deals and overcomes this kind of struggle because it is really um, realistic and a lot of people are going through this. So definitely another exciting read for me this month. And the last book that I'm reading in March from NetGalley is Don't Even Think About It by Sarah Milanowski. I really enjoyed her um, 10 Things We Did and Probably Shouldn't Have and I'm excited to see and what other books she's written and what other things she has in store for her readers. Don't even think about it, it does have a little bit of a weird kind of cover and I'm not really sure if I like it but the synopsis sounds really good and um, I'll definitely have to give this one a shot this month. So, Don't even think about it is about, it's about three friends who go in to get their flu shot because the entire town is having the flu to prevent getting sick and they actually get these superpowers through this flu shot and um, they completely change. They complete, now they know what people are thinking about them. Now they know what the smart guy in math class is putting down um, on his math test so they can cheat off of him. And their lives completely change with these superpowers and they never thought that anything like this would happen to them. So don't even think about it, sounds really good, sounds like a kind of fun and quirky read, so I'm definitely excited for this one as well. So the next two books on my TBR list for March are Bumped and Thumped by Megan McCafferty. So Bumped is about two teenage twin girls, one is named Melanie and the other one is named Harmony. 
in this society that they live in, it's actually um, completely twisted and teenagers are now having babies for adults who can't have babies anymore. And these teenagers are actually getting paid lots and lots of money or goods or services for having babies for these adults. Um, one of the twin sisters, I'm not sure which, is actually paired up with one of the best like boys, I guess, to have a baby with and is getting paid a lot from this rich couple to have her their baby. So... But then she um, meets her long-lost twin who comes from this religious background and is here to stop her from having this baby. So sounds so, so interesting. I have read so many good reviews on Goodreads and blogs and I am dying to read these two books. So the covers look absolutely amazing. They're so plain but yet so like kind of interesting and just, I don't know. I'm just so excited to read it. So excited. <laughs> the next two books on my TBR are the third and fourth book in the Pretty Little Liars series. And those are Perfect by Sarah Shepard, as well as Unbelievable by Sarah Shepard. If you don't know what this series is about, then you're hopeless. Just like the Pretty Little Liars series, the House of Night series has been coming out with um, much more newer books. So I think I stopped at the fifth or sixth book last time I was reading this series. It has been a while, so I've decided to reread the entire series and then finally catch up with the most recently released book. I absolutely love this series. I found it a little bit repetitive in the third and fourth book, but I'm definitely going to give it another shot and read the first four books this month, or at least try to. The first book is Marked. The second book is Betrayed. The third book is Chosen. And the fourth book is um, Tamed. And all of these are by PC and Christine Cast. The next book I have is Gone by Lisa McMahon. This trilogy has been, has been sitting on my shelf for a while now. Completed. I own all three books, but for some reason I've never finished the trilogy and um, have the third book sitting around unread. So I'm finally getting around to it since I'm giving these ones away at my blog and um, I'm kind of excited. This is kind of a darker book where this girl has these nightmares and she kind of has to somehow deal with these and they might be realistic. I'm not too sure anymore, but I'm um, definitely excited for this one. Okay, so the next four books, I'm so, so, like, extremely excited to get to these. These four books have been all over the blogging world, have been all over the bookstores, have been everywhere I've gone, and I am just so, ugh, I'm just dying to read these books. They sound amazing, the covers look so, so good, and... Ugh, I'm just dying to read them. And I have to admit, I will probably be reading these four books before I read anything else just because I am just that, like, <sighs> excited to read them. So, the first book is Mind Games by Christine White, or Kirsten White, I think. The cover looks so, so good. And I mean, I say this in every video that I've showed this book. <sighs> so, it just looks amazing. I just love it. Just love it. Then the next book is the second book in that series, and it's Perfect Lies. Again, the cover looks fantastic. <laughs> looks really good. So, If you don't know what these ones are about, they're about these two sisters that kind of have these um, superpowers. I know one of them kind of has this really good, like, gut feeling. She knows when things aren't right. She kind of has this really great instinct of what's going on. The other sister is actually blind but has the ability to see visions of the future and they both attend the, this school where these people use their powers for like espionage and other bad things and these two will do anything to protect each other and are I think I believe are trying to escape from this school so definitely sounds good they're really short I might even be reading both of them tonight the last two books that I'm reading this month that I can't even stop smiling like my face is hurting so much right now 
are The Madman's Daughter and Her Dark Curiosity by Megan Shepard. I just recently got this one in the mail because I picked up or I was sent the second book. This is The Madman's Daughter and this is Her Dark Curiosity. I've heard such, such good things about these books. I don't really know too much of what they're about because I didn't want to like spoil myself by reading the synopsis. So I, th so I think I'm just going to jump in to these ones without really knowing what's going to happen. So, yes. Oh, these are definitely Mind Games and The Madman's Daughter are definitely the top two books for this month. So I'm definitely, definitely, definitely going to be reading these at the beginning of the month and um, push everything else kind of back a little bit. So, yeah. So um, feel free to comment down below telling me what you think of these books or leave a link um, in the comments to um, your TBR list and I'll definitely go over and check it out and leave a comment or um, yeah or thumbs it up or like it or subscribe or maybe do all of it at one time. 